Hey everyone, welcome back. With the holidays rolling by, I wanted to show you a traditional Dominican style flan that we make in my family. We try not to make it so sugary, but I definitely wanted to show this to all of you. If you want it with the extra caramelized sugary stuff on the bottom or on the top, you just need to caramelize some more sugar. But I'm going to show you my way that we do it in my family. So I hope you enjoy this. It's super easy, super simple. Anyone could do it, very inexpensive. And I promise you, you're going to love it. Let's get started. So here are the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need six eggs, one can of evaporated milk, any brand, one can of sweetened condensed milk, any brand. And this is optional, but some pure vanilla extract would be perfect. So we're going to begin by just cracking four of the six eggs and just cracking them entirely and putting them all in there. up are the last two eggs so these two you're going to crack open and you're only going to use the yolk of these eggs you will not be using the clears you could put those aside and save them later to make like some scrambled eggs but just crack them open use the shell to guide you and you're just going to take the yolk of these eggs rather than the white So here's the consistency that you end up with. You end up with this nice, creamy, liquidy type of blend for the flan. You're going to absolutely love this. Next up, you're just going to put it into a cylinder pan. I ended up getting one from Dollar Tree. It looks like this. It comes in a three pack, which is perfect now for the holidays coming up. They have all sorts of different ones that you can use. 
And while you're there picking up your pins and such for this flung at Dollar Tree, don't forget to also pick up your aluminum foil that you're going to use. And also they have tons of decorations and kitchenware like utensils that you probably need while you're there. And did you know, aside from all these cakes and such that they have, they even sell pie crust. I had no idea. That is awesome. I've never made a pie, but I might have to try one out now that I know that they have it. They also have the frosting with the sprinkles or what we call up north jimmies. So they have that also and they even have coconut flakes. I didn't know that either. So definitely new projects to try. So morphing back home to this delicious flan, you're just going to transfer it into this aluminum pan. And that's pretty much about it. Flan is super easy to make. Very simple ingredients, inexpensive ingredients at that. So very simple. Pour it into your container and let's just go ahead and turn on the oven. We're going to go ahead and set our oven at a temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to cook the flan for one hour total at 400 degrees. We will continue by putting some aluminum foil over the flan like so. Just make sure you cover it from all angles. And we will continue by placing the flan on the center of another pin like this one right perfectly centered in the middle and you will see why in a second go ahead open up your oven place in the flan right at the center rack and i'm gonna show you what that second pan is all about right now so this second pan you're going to go ahead and add water to it on the inside only on that pan I ended up adding about two or three cups worth of water, but the trick is to make sure the water does not go past half of the height of the flan. And the reason for that is that you do not want the flan to burn or to overheat and burn the bottom. So this is called a baño maria is what we call it in Spanish. So it's pretty much just to make sure that the flan does not burn. Close up your oven door and that's it. You're going to cook this for one hour. And there you have it guys. Now you have yourself this simple flung recipe that is so delicious. You could top it any which way you want. You could put strawberries on it, cherries, other types of fruit, chocolate, whatever you want. Have fun with this. Have it any which way you like. Like I said, you could caramelize some sugar if you want it a little bit sweeter. But we try to not add too much sugar around these neck of the woods. But give it a try. I'm pretty sure you guys will love it and i have this great cabbage recipe in mind that i've been dying to show to all of you especially with the holiday season coming around so let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in knowing my cabbage recipe and yeah check out our last video up here if you're new here don't forget to thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe down below and turn on your notification bells we upload every tuesday and thursday at 3 p.m plus bonus videos so yeah don't forget to stay happy Stay safe, 
and enjoy the rest of your day because after all it's no one else's and it's uniquely yours bye guys